here we go. Hi folks, welcome to the 30 minute trader. It's supposed to be for beginners, a three day boot camp. But from my experience, typically we don't get complete beginners. So I use this as an introduction to help people, to guide them in the right direction. Um, after the three days, whether uh, typically would, for complete beginners, there's two things, Lisa. It lets them realize, guess what? Beginners, trading's not really for me. Or I spark their interest a little bit more because from what I teach them, then they, then they say, I can do this. So if I, all I do is impart belief into people, because the man at the bottom of the screen right now was where you are two months ago. Was it two, a month and a half ago, Jaden? Yeah. Well, I, had to, I, I watched you for a year before I even thought a about year. joining. Didn't I? Yeah, that's right. We had a good chat with you. Yeah, I remember that. Um, so people come from for different reasons. And what I like when we start going is people to introduce a little bit about themselves because I like to create a tight community so people feel safe, uh, so they can talk openly about if they lose a trade or if they win. Don't be scared to share the wins because... We're here to support and help each other. doesn't matter if there's one of us, two of us, or even four of us, five of us. It's a small community. And by keeping it small, we can get more out of it. So it's like more intimate. It's going to be this time, the time of the day for the next three days. And at the end of that, um, hopefully you've gained enough confidence and have imparted some knowledge in you that you feel better about trading rather than constantly losing, as you said, Lisa. Uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, and if you like what you see, I mean, I do have a private trading community, uh, which Jaden's actually joined in, in uh, well, we don't mind saying, Jaden, you're doing pretty well. Would you? Would you agree with that? Well, yeah, because I'm, I win, I'm winning all the time, every day. Of course, of course you are. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Could you imagine, Lisa, from losing all the time to winning all the time? Well, I was yeah. losing all the time. That would be awesome. <laughs> well, yeah. In my private mentoring, we'll go into that just now, but in my private mentoring, it's not just about the beliefs. It's about risk management. It's mm. about trading psychology as well as strategy. No, we we work on the three of them together and that's the important thing okay so I'm going to share my scre screen in a couple of minutes but what I do like people to do uh, in a minute I'm going to ask you to introduce yourself uh, and tell us a little bit about yourself I'll start uh, my name is Jeff Goodwin Jeffrey is my Sunday name uh, I was. I am from the UK, Scottish accent. Just to let you know, I have a wide and varied uh, background career. Uh, we, I used to be in the military, and then when I left the military, I went. I will uh, just be completely honest. Uh, the lady I was seeing at the time, we had a little. We stopped liking each other, shall we say? We were, we were together. And uh, it was very emotional for me. So I went through some problems in life. And as a result of getting help for myself, I retrained in psychology. I retrained because I wanted to help other people just like the help I got. Now, the reason why I'm saying this to you because that changed my life, the direction. And the one I wanted to help people because I felt the impact that could have on my life. And I did very, very well with that and ended up becoming a therapist and teaching others as well. And I really took to that. And I was in the private sector. Now, one of the things someone once said to me, someone said to me, Jeff, you can be the best therapist, you can be the best helper 
coach, whatever what you call it in the world, counsellor in the world, if you're in the private sector, if no one knows about you, it's not going to be any good, is it, for you? And I said, you're right. So I learned about marketing. And I entered a competition against other Google experts on Google, uh, Google and I won the competition. So I'm, oh, I'm quite good at this. So I ended up starting a business because um, so I was just very good at it. And then that's, that's the way. They, so learning algorithms is something I really enjoy. Will it be with the psycholo psychological aspect or with the Google, Google algorithm or even right now playing with Hi Leon, like Senior Leon, or even right. with, uh, the mm -hmm. algorithm of trading. That's what I work with. So that's a little bit about me. Um, welcome, Leon. I hope you're well. Hi, David. I hope you're well. I'll just tell a little bit about myself there. Jaden, how do you feel about telling uh, Lisa a little bit about yourself? Um, and then, Lisa, I'm going to mm -hmm. ask you to do the same. Just so because we're here together for three three sessions. I want to make so we feel comfortable and honest enough. It's not like an AA class or anything, but just a, just a little uh, introduction. Yeah, my name's Jaden. I I was trading for like two and a half years, and uh, I'd basically given up. I just started off, and and then I came across J Jeff, and I I'd been watching him for a while, and I thought, I'm just I'm just gonna give him a go, and then I got into his inner circle, and now uh, I'm just winning like three or four trades a day. Every now and again, I'll have a little loser, but with my risk management. I lose minimal and I'm gaining big profits now. So I'm just going to keep sticking with it and hopefully get funded. And then when I get a big funded account, I'll just stick my strategy and then the, the money's just going to roll in from there. Yeah. That's the plan anyway. Yeah, that's the plan. Because, um, Lisa, it was where you are just a month and a half ago and already the turnarounds is, is incredible. Lisa, yeah. how, thank you for that, Jaden. Lisa, are you feeling comfortable to just tell us a lot about yourself? We know you like fast cars. That's a given. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I live in the U.S. I'm from Georgia, as you can tell from my southern accent. Yes. Um, I'll come on tomorrow and show my face. I didn't today because I'm still in my PJs. So. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so I've been trading for a while, but I've just not been very profitable. And I guess maybe I don't have the right strategy or something. Um, I mean, I win some, but it's mostly losers. So I, you know, and I see the people in your group are being funded and I, you know, I see a lot of groups where people are getting funded left and right. And I'm like, oh, I want to do that so bad. I just don't have the correct strategy, I guess, to do it. Um, yeah. So well, we, I thought, well, let me we. see what you got going on and maybe you can help me a little bit. Yeah, sure. Um, thank you for uh, saying that, Lisa. Hi, Leon and uh, David, thanks for being here. Um, Hi, mate. Hope both of you are well. Yeah. He's from the UK, are you? Yeah, that's me. Yep. Uh, have you have you traded before? No, I haven't. No. Okay. Well, thanks. Thanks for uh, taking the time to be here. I appreciate. It. I'm sure you're pretty guy. Uh, pretty busy. Uh, do you know Jaden from the gym or something? Is that is that how you know him? <laughs> No, from school. All right. <laughs> yeah. A long time. A long time. Oh. Uh, yeah, it will be. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. And and David, uh, do you know Jaden or, or are you just popping on? No, no, no. I'm completely separate. I'm an independent guy. Okay. Thank you. I think I recognize uh, the photo. Uh, but maybe yeah, we spoke yeah. yeah, we spoke a while back. Yeah, that's, that's right. I remember now. Thank you. So what I'm going to do this this class is aimed for beginners or struggling traders. So I start off showing a chart using a piece of software called Trading View. You can get you can get a free copy of this. Uh, I'll show you how to get that. There's no worry. So first thing I do is I just pop on here. I'll show you my screen, um, and we take it from there. And that's the man there. So the first of all is. I'd, what I'd recommend you all get into this little free group here called Trial 30 Minute Trader. This thing keeps popping up. 30 Minute Trader, there's a very useful guide section 
with lots of education. Lisa, have you been in this, checking this guide section here? Yeah, I just checked it out today, but I'll, after this, I'll go in and look at it more. Yeah, there's lots of videos and stuff in there, content. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at AUDUSD. So what I'm going to, so guys, I want you to, have you all heard of Apple? Yep. I know yep. you have. Yep. Uh, so I'm just going to put Apple in there. There's Apple. Uh, and if I go to here, give us a minute. I'll set this up so you can see it. If I go here, um, you can see the price. The price, this these, these are what we call candles. Yep. These are called candles, like candlesticks. And if you were if you were to place a trade here and it goes up to there, small, you've actually made money. And you can stay in a little bit longer, you can stay a little bit longer, and you can stay in and you might lose a little bit. Now, every one of these candles represents one day of time. It says one D. Can everybody see that? Yes. Yep. Uh, for you, Lisa, nothing new there, but for the guys, maybe. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this slightly. Um, I'm just going to look at what we've got here. I'm going to show you some really, really, really simple strategies that Lisa, you're going to like, I can't believe how easy this is. First thing I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to find this low here. But nobody knows if this is the low or the high. But I think we all agree from what we see, this is lower than that. Yep. So, right, so these are candles. These are candles. And Lisa, can you tell me, can you tell me when it starts reversing? I mean, tell me to stop. Tell me to stop. When you see it, you start going down. Leon, can you see when it starts going down? Yes. Yeah, right about there? Yes. Yeah. So I'll mark this as a high. It comes down. We don't know if that's the end yet. We don't know if that's the end. But we don't want to know it's the end when it breaks here. So when that breaks through there, this becomes a low. A lower, sorry, a higher low. This is low. So this is called strut. So if you're in this trade, Lisa, you should only be taking buys. Would that make sense based on what I've shown you there? Something simple. Yes. That has not broken that yet, so we're still only taking buys. Excellent. It breaks it. We then get a new high, and it pulls back. But it's higher than that one, so we're feeling pretty good. Guys, don't worry about this. This is yeah, so it continues to, but we only know that when it breaks there, a little pullback, it's higher than there. So it's a higher low. So we're feeling pretty, so we, while this is happening, we're only placing an order for it to continue if you're trading on the daily time frame. Would that make sense to you, Lisa? Yes. And it goes all the way up, and eventually, so let's just say, for example, eventually, so I'll do, I'll do this, and then I'll do that there, and then eventually it comes down and closes. So if you'd placed the trade there, you would either get taken out there if you stopped it, but you'd made all this profit. Now, what I'm going to show you today, guys and Lisa, I'm going to show you three strategies. And you don't have to be part of my community. And I'm also going to show you strategies where you can only get in my community and special tools you can only get. But either way, you're going to walk away the three days with good information. The software I'm using is free, tradingview.com. And in the, in the guides in this, it shows you how you can get it. Yeah. 
uh, whatever that was, someone winning. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do, call on these female indicators. First thing I do is, is what I've shown you there. Second thing I'm going to show you is one of our indicators in my team. I'm going to show you how easy this is to Jaden. You're going to love this. You already, you already got it. I'm going to type in here volume. So in this piece of software, I can add for, I can, basically I'm asking for help. I'm saying help. I can't read it. Help. I can't read it. Can you give me an idea if this is going up or if this is going down? I'm actually going to ask for help. There's a little button up here. So I just type in there, volume. And there's, do you see my name here? Jeff Goodwin. Yep. And I'm going to click volume on it for mod. I click that once. I show you here. Come on. Come on. Is that not come on? No, it's not on. Okay, so I'll do that again. Come on, come on, Eileen. Oh, I swear on Eileen. There we go. It's just the internet. Yeah. So I've asked for help. I said, is this the bottom? I don't know, because I thought that was the bottom. I thought that was the bottom. But this says, Jeff, I would consider buying this if I was you. I said, really? Would you consider buying that? So let's just check. So what I'll do is, I'll put a little line there. So <laughs> we've got that there. And as long as this stays green, I stay in the trade. Is that this is super simple, nothing complicated. So Leon, I want you to imagine you want to trade Apple or you want to trade Forex and you're on the daily time trim. You see this here and you go, I'm gonna take a buy. As long as this stays green, you only buy. You can also make money selling when it comes down. When it when it comes down, it's classed as a sell on Forex. Yep. So here we go. We go this. Um, it's green, green, green. So we're staying in the trade. We're staying in the trade. We're so we're hiding this so you can't see it. We're staying in the trade. We're st it's going up. It's going up. We're making all this profit, making all this profit, making all this profit. Oh, sell right there. Apologize. Now, I have a quick question. The question is this. In the US, I don't, I don't know about uh, in England, but in Scotland, if you go to the banks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter there. I'm going to put my stop loss below there, Lisa. Don't worry about that. I'm going to, I'm going to look for this number here, guys. I'm going to take this up to the high when that goes there. So that there in total took, without without any stress, that took basically half a year. If, I, if you were to make half in half a year, just less than 5%, would, that, would you be considered good or bad by Warren Buffett? Bad. Warren Buffett makes nine percent a year. That's Does he? that's 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 what he goes for. Well, it'd be good yeah. for good, yeah. wouldn't it? That's that's all he goes for. So, Jaden, you do more than that in a week. Yeah, because you're a bit the thirty minute trader. So, so now that's that's me showing you something you get in our system. I moved it to there. I'm now going to give you a free one, Lisa. You you, you wait for this. So we okay. can use these together. Now this is on the daily, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to go up here. I'm just going to type oh. in. I'm asking for help. Just say I don't. You don't have this tool to help you out. It makes it so simple. I know. But let's see. You don't have this tool. I go up here and I'm asking for help. I say right. I'm needing something to get. Just support me. So I just type in that there. I go here. Yeah. It's going to come up there. 
Oh my god. So as long as these candles stay above this line, I stay in the trade. Once again, you might not have this, but I promise you two things. I promise you your belief will go up, and I promise you'll give you free help. So by entering there, see how it matches there nicely? And there, sell, matches there nicely. Mm. Jeff, can I ask yes. a question? Yes. So are those two indicators then, are they essentially showing the same information, but just, to, just presenting it in a different way? Yes. So the, the, the free is above the line. So yeah. then visually the, the order flow one into the order flow, so yeah. the, the the first one you know, this is just visually saying hey green, red, buy, sell. Yeah. Some people need okay. to see a buy. Some people struggle unless they see a buy. They say, where, uh -huh. where is it, Jeff? Where is it? Is it this one? Not which one? Okay, you've got that. If you have the both of them together. It's like they feel a bit more. It's about some people need the line. Okay, it's above the line, therefore they have permission to enter the trade. If you understand what I mean, it's almost like they give themselves mm -hmm. permission. Mm -hmm. So there's a free one, and there's one you only get in uh, my, my trading program. Yep. Now, would, would we ever see contradictions with those if we have those two indicators on? Would we ever see? For example, uh, you went the case of the saying buy, but then it's not crossing the line, for example. Or oh, sorry, it crossing the, the, the line. Okay, it depends on the settings. It depends on the settings. Okay. But with this one here, so let's just see you had both of these on. That there came close. It didn't close the other side of there. But you see there, it was saying hmm. there's a potential danger. Think of this as like a heart, oh. mon like a heart monitor there. Danger, danger, danger. It might go in an uptrend. Yeah, so it's telling you there. Be careful. Possibly exit the trade. But you stay in it. Another way I've, say, I've talked about it, I say, let's say you buy a house at 100000 and a few years later, uh, it's worth double. So you, your house is valued at 200000 So you can... Afford to take, allow it to go a little bit longer. You can afford to take a little hit with the potential of it going back up. Yeah, and that's what it did. So I don't trade Apple, just so you know, guys. But I'm only showing you this as an example because we've all heard of Apple. That that's that's the only reason I showed this. So let me go to Leon. Do you have any questions? And if you've not traded, this might be a bit. What's he on about? I get um, that. Um, as it stands, I'm kind of just just taking a back seat and then a good look. I'm sure I'll have a lot of questions on the next one, if that's all right. Yep, of course. Um, you're quite lucky that you've got Jaden as a as a friend with us because he's doing really, really well. He's doing really well. That's all I can say. You are Jaden. Yeah, yeah. There's no he, but praise you to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> pace to be patient. It does. So. This is one that's inside my community. This is one that's open source, but uh, MD can use this because at the end of the day, yes, I have a mentoring program and some people come from this onto it, but if people, if this is where they stop at this and I've helped them move forward, I'm happy. I'm happy. That's the important. Okay, so I'm now going to move to something called Forex. Okay, I'm going to move to something called Forex. I'm just going to go here. Uh, here, for example, we've got something called Bitcoin. Is anybody heard of Bitcoin? I'm sure we have yeah. Bitcoin. Yep. So without changing any settings or anything. Yeah. David, you asked the question, mm -hmm. what a bit of a different thing. So that there, that says buy there, it went mm -hmm. up. At this point here, mm -hmm. it says, Jeff, I'd be really careful, although it did go up. So Although flat lines, if you want to exit the trade, you can. But look at there how it's very similar. It's very oh. high there. And at that point there, it just drops like a stone, rapid. Get by. So that was one day, 
two days, three, four, five, six. That's the day. That's the day so far. Yeah, Bitcoin. Mm. Um, let me go to, uh, let me just check. Has anybody heard of the FTSE 100? People in the UK may yeah. have heard of the FTSE. Well, that's the FTSE. I'm not cheap. So, so look at this one here, uh, David. This here says potentially enter one candle before there. That one says you can potentially oh. enter. It's slightly out. Okay. Well, that's okay. Because what we know, there's a little FVG there that comes up there. And once it goes, stops the flat line, boom, it gets, it gets absolutely perfect. Bang. Oh. And again, it rejects off there and carries on. At this point here, it says you should consider selling. Once that breaks through there, there, straight down. Yeah. That's one thing you can do. So this is the this is uh, uh, the top one hundred stocks in the UK. The FTSE one hundred. I could do something similar. Uh, in America, I could do all the top technical stocks like if you had a Facebook, they're in something called the NASDAQ. So let's look at NAS 100, but it's pulled with the top 100 uh, stocks in America. So let's look at this. We get this line. Can you read if these two said to you, buy? Based on what you know, Lisa, looking at that there, I would say yeah. to yourself, why are you failing? Can you read that? Oh, can, yes. you, can you see green means? What does green mean? Does that mean buy or does that mean sell? Buy. <laughs> it stays above the line. You stay above the line the whole time. At that point, it says you should consider exiting it around right about there as it starts coming down. And by then it's, yeah, absolutely spot on. So that's that's the NASDAQ. That's an American top 100, uh, like foots, uh, like uh, Facebook and different things. Oh, are they top 100 companies? Uh, technical stocks. It's technical stocks. Mm -hmm. You could go to uh, the US 500 or, or uh, S&P 500 is the name. We could look at that as well. And you can say, well, I'm doing nothing. You see, Jeff, show me that indicator again. I want to I want to join your system, but I understand they have to be aligned. If they're aligned above that and not get that, it's a better probability of me winning. Would you agree? Would you feel confident? Yes. Yeah. If you had both. This is the power of the 30-minute trading system. Because I've got there's more stuff going on here as well. But that there is, it's a bit more detail inside here. But I just want to show you really basic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the time frame. I'm going to, I'm going to, so this is based on the daily. Uh, Lisa, what time of the day do you, uh, I apologize, do, are you, do you trade like, um, do you trade like a, uh, on a one minute, an hour, a daily, a week? And what do you trade? Uh, usually five minutes. Five minutes. Okay. So Lisa said she trades on the five minute. Yeah. Then the, the lower the time frame, the difference that this will be. But let's look at this. That's a, even on the five minute time frame. I wonder if you can read that, Lisa. Yes. That's gold. It's a sale. People yeah. say gold is volatile, but can you read that? I'm on the five minute time frame. Yes. Yeah. I'm not doing anything it's... fancy. I'm really not doing anything fancy. So how much is the in indicator? Okay. That's just one. I have four indicators. Oh, okay. 
if you want the indicators alone, and you and Brit, I'll do it in British pounds, and then I'll do it in US dollars, and I'll show you all the other ones as well. Okay. And here's something else. Look, that tells you it's a sell. You see, I've got this here. It's green. So this, the, the good thing about this one is more like a, you could use it as an exit strategy. So you're buying, buy, 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 buy. But when do I exit, Jeff? If, if you exit here, it's too late. I've missed all this money. See when it goes mm -hmm. red? Warning, warning, close the trade. See that green thing there? Yes. That's an early warning system. Warning. Goes above there. Once it goes green, it goes above there, it's aligned. Bye. Um, have you heard of prop firms? Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, now, some people, it's uh, rather than trading with your own money, people are trading with prop firms' money now. Uh, because you can get you can actually access to more money for example this this my four indicators it's only fifty dollars monthly it's almost too cheap okay for four indicators yeah um but i'm I'm only going to show what and this is gold this is what what is it you trade I trade gold and the euro and the G okay the, okay you know. so let me see this one can you read that there? Would that help if you had the red background like that? Oh, or yeah. a green or a green background for a buy and a red background? Would that help at all? Oh, definitely. What would happen if you, rather than there's all this consolidation? You're like, oh, is it a seller or is it a buy? But guess what? This is a it's like a heart monitor. It says, are you stupid getting in that trade? Are you yeah. are you stupid? Just spit out oh, the straight talking. Stay out the trade until you get your, and then what you need once it moves one way, what it typically then does is the opposite way. When you see this, well, that's excellent. So that's something we that's something we teach in the mentoring program. Okay, look at that. Does it get it right? Absolutely. Yeah, if I might, can I just throw a question? Please ask any question. This is the I'm only doing stuff what people actually use. Yep. So, because, like, for example, on this one, this is on five minutes, right? So, when the new, um, when the new candle comes, that's the new five minutes that's going to be either showing red or green. The next candle can obviously go red or green. Let's say, for example, it, it's red and then it goes green. Mm -hmm. Do you wait for some sort of um, confirmation with the next candles? For example, like, would you only enter the trade if it's three candles green? Or would you just take it if it just goes green, but then it could turn red, like the market pulls, moves against you? Okay. Does that make sense? I understand. Okay. It's all about understanding the market structure. And that, that's why I say it depends. It depends. This on its own, uh, Lisa was talking about five minutes. I showed the daily or using a structure before. This is more of a scalping strategy. So if you're using something like this, without I don't I don't know whether I, any other inf information, but Jade would tell you, I could quite easily enter off of that candle there, or that candle there, or if you want to wait, at that candle there. The reason for this, depending on how much you know about trading, um, is anyone here head of liquidity? Uh-huh. Yep. So let's use that. Um let me I'm looking for this here. So we don't know where the high is, it just keeps going up. Is that the high? We think it's the high, no, it's not the high. It keeps going up. Please be with me. Is that the high? We, no, 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 that's not the high. Is that the high? We have no idea what's coming next, do I? I've just proved it. Oh. I've, I have no idea what, what's coming next. This could help me to see what's going down. That could help me. But I'd rather read the candles. Now, depending on what you know, I'm going to remove this. Let's just read the candles. This is the five-minute gold. We believe this is a high, but we don't know yet. 
Jaden, are you there? May not be. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm here. Okay. So I wonder if you can help me out. I'm going to look at this black candle. And I'm going to look at the candle to the left, and I'm going to look at the candle to the right. So tell me where to draw. I want, I want to find the wicks on on the candle to the left and the candle to the right. Would it be okay if I put the candle that this just here? Would that be okay? Would that be would that be near the bottom? Would you accept that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's I'm just trying to be transparent here. Yeah. Okay. And that one there. Thank you very much. Okay, so we've got the market going up. So look at this, gray, 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 black. I go, oh, so I'm now teaching to read candles. Because you actually ask the question and I'm actually answering it a different way by what I do. Read the structure and you also read the candles. So I'm just highlighting that, gray, gray, <laughs> A rejection candle. It goes up, it comes down, a doji. The next candle is a black one, and it pushes down. You can see that. So what? But it leaves mm -hmm. a gap in here. The candle goes down, stops there, pushes back up. The bodies really go back into there. The wicks go up but the bodies stay there. And at that point, you've got options. Just reading candles, you can either enter there, you can enter there, there, or there. Why is there so many options? It depends on your style. If you want to use a, a buy or a sell tool, you could quite simply put on something like this and wait for a sell. And away you go. Or there's other things you can use, David. Um, I don't know if I've answered that, but I like to read the candles. If you're no, not that's, that makes sense. Read candles, I can put on something like this. That tells me it's went red. That's telling me it's went red. I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, no, no. I want one more uh, confirmation. You might put that. Okay, Jeff, it's under there. I'm no, no, I want one more confirmation. Okay, it's red. I get it now, right? Red, that says red means a sell. That means a buy. It comes around, it turns around, turns around. To... And this is gold, which is volatile. Look, my software has drawn this green line. My software has drawn this green line. It says, if I was you, be careful, Jeff. It might bounce off of there. Mm. It's drawn this in the past. It's not just the last five minutes. It's went all the way back to there. Right there. It's came down. It's wicked it with this big wick. We see this here. I'm going to change this up there. And it's just in a different time frame. To there and further back. So at this point, it says to me, there's a possibility it could bounce up. So the question is, is this the low? I have no idea if that's the low. The low depends if we use the structure of the market, which these indicators read for us. And it appears that it bounced off that line, right? Sorry, see that again. I apologize. I never heard that. I was, I was just saying that the, the line that, that you were just referring to, the candle actually bounced off that line and then oh, moved that up one there. Yeah. So. That there. Yeah. That there. Yeah. So, the, so it just touched it and then started moving up again. So this is built into the 30 minute trader direction. It gives us the direction of the market and it tell, also tells us what it may reverse or bounce off. There's an expression that says, right, sell, 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 sell. So at this point, it could bounce off it or it could break through. And if it breaks through, I would expect it to come down up to there and continue down. Now, this is the five minute time frame. I could go lower, or I could go higher. But I'm only doing this based on 
what I asked Lisa and she said they're fine. So um let me David, what time frame do you trade off of please? Uh, I well I don't trade at the moment, but I'm thinking that I from from what I've been looking at, I think I prefer to do some sort of higher time frames to okay. sort of maybe go for a swing. Like like a daily something like that. Yeah, because I don't I'm, I don't want to be glued to the computer, right? So I want to try and learn something where I can, uh, yeah, not 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 be so hectic on the on and just trading away. Yeah, I, I agree with you. That's a, a good valid point. Yeah. So on that, all I'm all I recommend is find a tool, find one trading instrument that respects this is the other thing that respects this. So go where it pays well nicely can also work against you. So I wonder if you can help me out. Yeah. And I want you to find a pair that respects this. So it says by there, could you have made some money with that there? Going above there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It comes back down. That says sell. Could you have made some money with that sell? Before it says buy. So. Excellent. Some is more short term than others. So let's go to another. Look at the euro. I think Lisa says she also trades the euro. So it says buy. It's above there. Could Lisa have made some money with that? Absolutely, she could have. Temporary pullback. This is what I talk about equity. Equity. There's, it's not broke. It's not, I have that something called break of structure. There's no break of structure there. There. It just bounced off of that light. And, and likewise, again, it's not broken the low. So that one's quite good. Um, let's look at something like the NASDAQ or the NAS. With the top. Okay. Could you, this is the daily. Could you make some money with that? My indicators are only for forty pounds a month. Ridiculous. Mentoring's more, but but look how easy that is to trade from these. What about? Is there a particular stock you want me to look up for you, David, or are you more about forex? Uh, I, I'm open okay. to anything. Yeah. I, I, I guess I'm more familiar with that, thanks, but I'm kind of more interested at the moment in. Uh, that and futures, futures, yeah, absolutely. We can we can look at futures here. No worries there. Let's look at index futures. Uh, you, you can you can do the uh, the Nasdaq there. You can do the S and P five hundred. You can do the the Aussie. You can do whole. But let's just let's look at S and P five hundred. There, that's on the daily. Just see, so get the last buy. Does that win or does it lose? It wins. Thank you very much. What be the last sell? You're winning. What about gold on futures? Is that last buy? Oh, went to the moon. Let's go to the one minute time frame. Oh my God. The one minute. You can't, this is not possible. The one minute on gold. People are off the head trading. It says sell there. You just wait for it to come underneath there. Here we go. Bang. Questions? Just so you know, I'm over simplifying everything. Because I'm aware today we have people that have never traded before. And this is supposed to be for absolute beginners. I use a very simple indicator that's got the sell and the buy. So people can say, well, how do I know when to sell and how do I know when to buy? So if I just take that there, it's buy. Does that go up? Yes, it does. Okay. Show me that again, Jeff. But I want to see it the other way. I want to see the sell. We do nothing until you see that. And then you wait for it to come underneath there. Stop loss above there. Bang, away you go. This is gold and the one minute time frame. 
Ah, but what were these other ones? What do they look like? All right, they look quite good as well, don't they? Is, is there any advantage apart from allocation of the time to trading on the smaller time frames versus the larger time frames? I know some people do like a, a thing called a top down approach. Yeah, top but down is, approach. Is there any, is there any sort of edge or I guess that must be otherwise people wouldn't do it. But is there any you, sort of real you can, benefit? You can make significantly more on a lower time frame. Significantly more. Uh, because this, uh, on this, you'll probably make 4%. Where to get that, you'd have to, on a daily time frame, you'd perhaps trade a month, month and a half. And that's in minutes. Wait for the sell. Right. Put that on. Okay. Oh, something just happened there. Uh, wait for the sell. I might have been entered there. You probably wait for a proper break, actually. There. Stop loss, you can either put it there or about there. Let's say we're put it above the high. Yeah. There's 2%, and that's a way up there. 2.5%. How many minutes did that take from the entry? 79 minutes, and you've just earned 2.5%. When was the last time your bank gave you anything like that for 79 minutes? I don't think they give you that for a year, do they? They don't give you that for a year, that's correct. Yeah. You could you could actually do multiple trades for that. Every time that comes down there, you could, you could do something else for that. Um. Yes. Um, I'm not sure. Yes. Yes, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. So I want you to imagine now. I'm really, I'm really not sure, right? I'm really not sure. And so, right, Jeff, how long have we been on? Okay, so I, I go to something called. Uh, what time is it there? I go to ten o'clock. Uh, I do, I, do, I just go to, was that 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock there, 10 o'clock there. That one right there. And I don't have any of these on. And I'm like, I'm really, I'm like, which one is it, Jeff? I have no idea. Is it going to go up? And I'm on a 15 minute time frame. And I'm like, which way? So have you ever, have you ever, have you ever been walking off across the road and you say, do I, is it going up? Do I take a left or do I take a right? get confused. Which bar will I go to? Which restaurant? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say I'm a bit confused. I don't know. So at this time here, 10 o'clock is when we started. So I'm going to take a little line there. But I'm just going to do that. And I'm, I'm a bit confused. And I'm like, well, I'm, I don't know if it's going to go down or it's going to go up at that point there. So I'm going to take it from the high. I'm going to do that there. because so I don't know which way. So I've done that. Then I say, well, I want to wait a little. I, want, I don't want to get in straight away. I like Lisa's idea to drop into the five minute time frame. If the price goes underneath there, I place a sell order. If the price goes above there, I place a buy. Because I was confused. I'm new to this trading. I have no. I have no idea what I'm doing. But that told me it broke down there, so I sell. And my stop loss goes above there, and and this is called. The 30 minute cross, 30 minute trade across. Look, 1%. How many minutes? One, two, three, four, five. Ah, but that, that that's just a one off, Jeff. I don't believe you. I don't believe that. Okay, let's try eight o'clock. Let's try something else. It doesn't happen. That's a one off. So I'll go back to another time. Let's do 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll go to the 50 minute time frame. So I'm only showing you stuff that's free. Now, because people get confused. So I go here and I find the time and I, where's that 8 o'clock again? So I'm really confused with this trading stuff. There's 8 o'clock there. See the time down there? 8 o'clock. I'm confused. I don't know if it's up or down. So, well, I, I draw a line, a simple trend line up. And I, I I'm, I'm, where do I draw the trend line here? I don't know, so I'll um. Well, there, there's a there's a high there. I'll, oh, apologize. 
and it was, I'm really confused. So I do that there, and I drop it down because, again, Lisa says she likes the five minute. I do that there. It does it. Okay. My stop loss is either below there or below there, or below, it's got to be below somewhere. Okay. Where's my take profit? I'm not. I could put the thirty-minute trader direction onto support, and it makes. Oh, you've got to be careful with that, Jeff. Or we don't because you don't have any of those tools. We don't do that. So we would go here. We go here. Nine eight oh eight twenty. It's breaking. Let me check. It looks like a sell. Not doesn't look. Green means buy or green means sell. Green means. Uh -huh. So why would oh. I enter for a sale there? By having this technology kept me out of a losing trade. So now I, now I know that's green. I'm only looking for buys when it goes above there. It goes above there. Hallelujah. This goes below the low. And you can do whatever you want. That goes all the way to the work at the top. 2% count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 minutes. So what I'm showing you guys, the toughest thing is Lisa know in trading is your trading psychology. Yeah, it does go the other way. And there's actually a reason why I wouldn't actually um it's it's quite, it's quite interesting this actually, this trade. Um it's very interesting. What time was that? Nine forty. Yeah, run about there. I entered that for a sell round about there, Jaden. Yeah. Remember that thing I showed you on the live? Just before? Or the live session? Mm. What was it? You were on the live session? Yeah. Um what day was it? It is Friday, there's Friday there. This Friday. Oh yeah, the the weekly high and the weekly low thing. Yeah, really simple. Yeah. Breaks above it. Thank you very much. Where's my stop loss? Above there. Enter as soon as it drops below. Stop loss above there. Here we go. Bang. Eleven point nine percent. The first one today. With the other pair, bada bing, bada bong. I showed you that live the setup before we went off. Yeah, everyone was a winner. Yeah, the other one was on silver. Was it silver? Was it silver? I'm not sure actually now. Was it silver? Silver, 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 silver. That's it there. And it wasn't silver, silver, silver. I don't, I don't think we did silver. No, I don't know what which one it was. Anyway, but, um, so I'm going to stop this for just for a minute because I don't want to. I want to where some people have not traded. If you've never traded before, this is a little bit of software, um, and you you can hit a button on your phone. Either a blue for a buy or red for a sell. That's the world down to simplicity. Price goes up or it goes down. You can learn some stuff on YouTube. Um, as Lisa can tell you, I don't know if you've been doing mentoring, Lisa, or not, or learning for YouTube, but it's 95% of traders fail. I'll say that one more time. 95% of traders fail, actually fail in the first three months. And the reason for that typically is they don't have the, a good strategy there. Or I'd probably say the bigger reason is risk management. Now, Jaden's getting his head around that and he's doing very well. So Lisa, all that, for, so for Leon, just all that means is some people risk too much. So let's say I've got 100 pounds account it could be a thousand it makes a difference if you use the number of a hundred they might want to say oh do i tell you what i'll risk i'll risk 50 percent of it 
and I'm going to be a millionaire tomorrow because I've heard it's really good. And you blow it. And you're like, well, I thought this trade was supposed to be really good. You lose two trades, one or one trade, and you're like, this is rubbish, this. But you've just got to learn the game. So, come back to Lisa. I, I don't know what strategy it is, but I would ju I could just create a whole bunch of strategies and I can get them to be successful because I use something called confluence where I, I get things to match up. So I'll just show you real quick with this here. Um, what's this here? Um, one minute time frame. Let me choose a completely different strategy. Um, I've shown you actually two things. Let me just go here. I've got a whole bunch of strategies here. A whole bunch. Of, I make up for people. I make up strategies. But liquid gold. There's liquid gold right there. There's the money line. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at this. We'll switch this one off and let's just see what we get. I have no idea what's, what it's going to get. Okay, that's a very basic. I know what that is. I'll just have to click here. Watch this. I'll do that there. I'll do that there. I'll do that there. I'll do that there. So it's very similar. Background red. It's a little beep there. Exit the trade. Re-enter the trade when everything's red. So we can't read candles. Look, that green's coming up. These two meet. And when they both of them meet, guess what? You get an explosion. Boom. This is this is a version of the money line. This is one of the this was one of the original versions, Jaden. It's actually a lot yeah. in this. This here is also inside the volume monitor mod. That indicator at the bottom's also inside the volume monitor. But you've never seen it. I can show you, it's just another version. But look at that there. Goes blue, bag. When it goes red, it goes red. Exit the trade. I could choose a whole bunch of things. I've no idea. So I put all these things. I've spent years putting these together, actually. Liquid gold. Oh, that one's too good. Connect. The flow. Now, the flow. This is an interesting one. This one's a very interesting one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the candles. Yeah. Look, I do not have candles on there. I've got something else. Based on what you see, tell me when to buy and tell me when to stop. Exit the trade. So I've got this here. So tell me when to, to, to stop this for a buy. Lisa, uh, Jaden, Mark, Leon. Tell me when everything is green. <laughs> Bye. Bye there. What color is this? Red. So let's make sure it's all so it's above there. It's got to be above that line. Is that okay? Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Good. I know you were doing it there. Okay. At this point here, it sends sell. So you can either exit the trade. So we'll say, well, I'm going to exit the trade. I'm. I've, I'm going to. I'll take my money there. But I do not sell because everything is going up. Everything is going up. You see that there? Well, everything is yeah. green. As long as everything's green, we do not sell. We only buy. It comes down, we get a buy signal. So what do we do? We buy. When do I know it's the top? I have no idea. This tells me to exit the trade. So I stop at the top. Unfortunately, I miss out all of that trade. But guess what? If you had that nice win there and that nice win there, Jaden, would you be too bothered? No, no, I'm not bothered now. I'm happy with my wins. Absolutely. And I'm not using, uh, but, but this is futures again. So let's go back to Forex and let's use New York ones. Uh, what about uh, US CAD, for example? Let's change it around a bit. Same rules. Look, green goes above that line. You could exit the trade there, or you can even stay as long as it, the truth is, as long as it stays above everything green, you can stay in the trade. At that point, there it goes red. 
everything is still above that, so you have a decision. You'd probably take it one candle at a time. One candle, one candle, one candle, one candle. We have equity in the trade. Because we have a balance, we're in profit, we can just wait. That's if you're trading long term. If you're trading short term, then like if you went if you went for a, a buy there and it turned around, you'd be a bit you'd be a bit concerned. This is called the flow. Because I call this the flow because you just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. As long as it's green, just let it just let it go. Don't be bothered. Just don't be bothered. So anyway, today was really about an introduction. Leon, for you, as you've never traded before, just treat it as garbage just for just now. It's just what I've gave you a whole bunch of words. Okay? You're very fortunate. You get Jaden as a good friend. He's doing very well. I'm not just saying it. Six weeks ago, he was where you are. He, he although he had been, he's been following me for about a year and a half, maybe a bit, I don't know how long, but a year. Mm. That might be more than that, Jaden, actually. Yeah, and I was that scared of being scammed when I had you writing your name, my name on pieces of paper and holding it right. up for me and all sorts. And I had to change the date and the time. <laughs> I had to take a photo. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, what are you doing this for? And he told me. I'm like, <laughs> and now as a result, he's completely crushing it. He really is. And I'm not, and I'm not trying to blow your, your head, Jaden. It's the truth. Every day, he post wins. He was at the gym mm. today, in the gym. Pushing those weights, crushing it. Yeah, and I get a laptop out when I'm on push bike, and I do my trading. It takes me like forty minutes, and I get one or two percent, and then I shut the laptop, and I go into steam room, and then I wait till the next trading time, which for me is one o'clock in the afternoon. Then I get one one to two percent on that as well. So like I'm averaging three to four percent a day. Yeah. So thanks. So. Let's wrap this up because it's more of an introduction today. I'll give you some yeah. free tools. Give you free tools, trade and view. You don't need me for that. If you want an affiliate link, got one to get a discount, you can do that. Um, um, I showed you free stuff today, so you don't even need to use my indicators, my software. You don't need to be part of my program. But I'm, I, I offer, genuinely offer that you can leave feeling confident. I've shown you mm -hmm. Apple with a one of my software. It goes to the, it just moves, and even with a free one, it moves really well. But two them together really works well. I've shown you with the Nasdaq. I've shown you with Forex. I've shown you with gold. I've shown you in the one minute with gold, the five minute. Everything just works. So I've put a lot of time in it, and this is one of the re not the only reason why Jaden's doing so well. But he, he's put the time in. You really have. You've got to do the work. Yep. So I'm going to close the show. Uh, uh, questions, learnings, or discoveries from today's session? I'll start off with Lisa, please. Or even, uh, uh, yes. What well, questions? I have trading you, but um, so I don't see where they, the the one EMA you, you were using on here. Yeah, that's just. Uh, I just changed the EME. I alter everything to suit my eyes. So, because for me, it's all about psychology. So I went into the conditions of that, Lisa, and changed it. I just turned it from a line into circles. Oh, okay. But like um, when I type the EMA in there, there's, you know, so many comes up. I don't know which one you were using. Just, just one that says moving average exponential. Moving average, in fact, that's the exact one. It's the free one between them. You moving average exp exponential. Exponential moving average, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. E M A. Thank you, Lisa. But you'll be here tomorrow, uh, hopefully, and we'll, we can. Mm -hmm. uh, we can. Yeah. Exponential moving, but we actually type in moving average exponential. It's a true free trading view one, it's not from anybody else. So I give you free stuff. Um, 
David yourself, questions, learnings, or discoveries from today's session, please. I've got two uh, quick questions, and I understand that you might not want to answer them today. Um, would you recommend certain instruments for new people? Um, and also, are you executing the trades directly off trade team, or are you manually inputting them into your broker platform, or is there some sort of connectivity between them? Okay. Uh, me personally, I execute in trading view. Okay. Cool. You can use MT4, MT5, <laughs> TradeStation, any other broker platform um, you wish. But I personally execute inside TradingView. If you've got a TradingView account and you prefer using TradingView and you perhaps use MT4, you can use some software to connect your TradingView to your MT4. I, okay. I, I look at the charts on TradingView and I execute. Trading view. Cool. Inside trading view, and is broker, inside this trading view, there's brokers. There's about. I mean, they're assuming they're connected. Say that again, please. They're connecting via an I'm I'm struggling to hear you, David. I don't know if you, it sounds like something wrong with the mic or something. Maybe it's my ears. Sorry, apologize. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. Jaden, can you hear what you're saying? No, yeah. it's a bit muffly. Okay. I said it's okay. Bad line, yes. Yeah, so execute in. Thank you. Leon, I really appreciate you being here today. I know it was a lot of information. Uh, inside, you can come here for three days, but once you've done that, Go to the we've done previous book boot camps and I'll and it'd be good for you to have a look at that as well, just so you know. I'd recommend yeah, some, some. and uh just stick with Jaden. Just stick with what Jaden says. Because he's genuinely because he's he's been through it and he's coming out the other side. He's done really well. Yeah, I've made I've made all the mistakes, you know what I mean? And you I you you haven't got to make the mistakes I've I've made Leon because I'll I'll help you through it, you know what I mean? I'll tell yeah, you what to do. Yeah, nice one. Nice one. Sweet. Yeah. Um, Jaden, for yourself, do you have any questions or any observations or anything you would like to say to the group? Oh, I mean, I'd like to say to the group, look forward to your future. I'd say stick with Jeff and uh, just think how many years Jeff's been doing it. Like, I want Jeff's brain inside my head. So that's why I'm staying with Jeff. I need to know what Jeff knows so I can carry on trading myself and just accelerating to where I need to get to go. And I want to help everyone I can. <laughs> that's what it's about. We're all in this together so we can all make money together. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, well, thanks for that, Jaden. And thanks for everyone for being here today. It's 11 o'clock. I'm in Bali. It's 11 o'clock for me in Bali. I don't have a Scottish, good Scottish accent. I'm, I'm in the uh, valley. So I'll be shutting the shop. Thank you. And I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, Thanks, guys. Guys. Thank you. See you in a bit.